for everyone who says I don't have edges, I have edges, okay? Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Simone Charisse, and today in this video, I use lace tape to go ahead and secure my lace frontal wig. So I didn't use any gotta be glued, any glue, any gel or anything like that. I used tape. So in this video, I showed you guys how to dye your hair to be this RNG color and that how to uh, apply your lace wig with tape lace tape am i sure about this am i really really sure about this <laughs> all right so today in this video we're using lavy hair and right now i have all the instructions on what you're going to be doing for the bleaching process keep in mind i already bleached the hair once so we're going to go ahead and go straight into step two of the bleaching process which is me bleaching it again for another 55 minutes after each bleaching session, I always make sure to shampoo my hair, guys, because you will have so much residue left on that hair, and it makes the hair feel really disgusting. So before I go into the coloring process, it's so important that I go ahead and shampoo everything out of this. So, yeah. So this is how the hair looks after the second bleaching, and now we're going to go into the fun part. We're going to start coloring the hair. I'm using Orange Blaze, but it wasn't as vibrant for me as I wanted it. So I went ahead and I used some conditioner to kind of like brighten it a little bit and put a tad bit more life into it. I didn't put a lot, I kind of just put like a little like gallop kind of dollop kind of thing. <laughs> I didn't go ahead and go all, put a lot, but you don't need a lot. Now I went ahead and put it on the hair and this part for me is really important because I like to get it up to the roots. I absolutely hate when people have a different color root and different color ends, meaning like blonde roots and like different color ends it drives me freaking nuts so I always make sure to get it up to the roots just so that it looks very seamless and even next you want to go ahead and condition the hair do not shampoo it or you will be washing the color away next we're going to go into um the taping process and you just want to wipe your skin down for any excess oils that may be there you know what this is for everyone who says I don't have edges I have edges okay I have edges look it's there So this is the lace tape that I have right here. On this side, it's ridiculously, it's ridiculously sticky. You do not want to touch that side because the more you touch it, the more you loosen the adhesive and then it won't stick as well. You're gonna cut little pieces. So I'm gonna put, my hairline kind of goes, I mean, my hairline's kind of straight across, really. Actually, we're gonna try the wig on first. So I like to pull it up a little bit on my, you don't want this tape on your hairline or you are going to be edgeless like I was accused of being line it up like this which means the tape has to go kind of right underneath here the tape you want to cut it in sections you don't want to just put a long piece of tape going straight across because it doesn't work that way so I'm going to cut a small piece like this right, I'm putting as close as possible to my hairline here and we're going to put that on the other side Alright, so I start off with these sections first because it's easier to place it here and then put everything here on the sides. If you start from the side and work your way up, you, it might be a little uneven. I'm going to pull off the white strips. I had to do it over because they look like <laughs> Now I'm going to pull it up. And I'm just going to pull it to the edge of the tape. I'm gonna put an tension on the lace. I'm just gonna pull. Don't pull too tight or you'll get like wrinkled skin. And that's like what we're not trying to do. So, ooh, this kind of sticks really well. Now I'm just gonna use a rat tail comb and I'm just gonna go ahead and press it down. Well, this you don't have to actually do baby hairs, but I just want it to be a little bit up on the tape, which means pulling the wig up. I'm gonna have a small forehead. All right, guys. So this is the end result of the curly hair um, and the tape on my lace front. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair with this curling wand. Um, I loved the hair. So this texture is more of like a wave. So to me, it's like 
a little bit more manageable like you know it's, it makes up this 180 density so thank you guys for watching this video and let me know your thoughts down below